Hi everyone, welcome back to our channel Dentistry to the Point. This is Dr. Drumil Manik. So in this video next we are moving on to the sixth step of cavity preparation that is pulp protection. Now it is not considered as a step of cavity preparation but that again it is an important part in the steps of cavity preparation because once you are moving on to restoring the cavity after you have finally prepared the whole cavity then it is very much necessary to protect the pulp because again there are chances that there might be micro leakage or causation of secondary caries after you have restored the teeth or while preparing the cavity also there are some chances that you may injure the pulp or expose the pulp due to some or the other reason so there are chances like heat production heat due to friction there is high amount of heat production whichever burrs or hand PC use then high speed burrs restorative material galvanic current which is induced by two different metals in opposite arches then masticatory forces which we generate that are also going to in one or another way affect the pulp and lastly the micro leakage so these are the points which need to be kept in mind regarding the pulp protection now how are you going to protect pulp kaise aap pulp ko protect karoge so that will be through liners through bases or varnishes firstly why are you going to use liners or how are you going to use liners liners are such materials which are applied in thin film they are applied in thin film of 0.5 to 1 mm in thickness and bases are those materials which are applied in thickness of 2 mm so there is difference between liners and bases liners which are you just going to apply a thin film bases are going to be a thickness of 2 mm now which are the materials which can be used as liners and bases so zinc oxide calcium hydroxide and resin modified gic can be used or resin modified glass ionomer cement you can say can be used as thin film as liners and zinc phosphate zinc oxide digenol polycarboxylate and rm ye yeah, resin modified glass ionomer can be used as bases also now when are this liners or bases used you just suppose that you have prepared a cavity i had discussed in the previous step that you are going to excavate the remaining affected infected dentin or soft dentin you can say तो जब भी आप पूरा पूरा कैविटी प्रिपरेशन कर लोगे नाउ आफ्टर दैट हाउ मच थिकनेस ऑफ डेंटिन इज रिमेनिंग दैट विल बी डिसाइडिंग योर लाइनर्स और बेस इफ यू आर लेफ्ट विथ ओनली वन टू टू एम एम ऑफ डेंटिन थिकनेस दैट इज यू हैव सफिशिएंट अमाउंट ऑफ डेंटिन अबाउ द पल्प देर इन देर इज नो यूज टू अप्लाई बेसिस और लाइनर्स बट यू आर सो क्लोज टू पल्प दैट ओनली पॉइंट फाइव एम एम ऑफ डेंटिन इज लेफ्ट अबाउ द पल्प पल्प के ऊपर सिर्फ 0.5 फाइव mm का डेंटिन बचा है तो आपको लाइनर्स या बेसिस यूज करने पड़ेंगे क्या मैंने बताया कि अगर यू आर अवे फ्रॉम द डेंटिन बाई वन टू टू एम एम और मोर देन देर इज नो यूज टू अप्लाई लाइनर्स और बेसिस यू कैन डायरेक्टली गो विद द रिस्टोरेटिव मटीरियल बट इफ यू आर क्लोज इनफ टू द पल्प कि अगर आप 0.5 फाइव mm है कि जरा सा आप यू एंटर द कैविटी एंड गोइंग टू एक्सपोज द पल्प और due to any such reason there is going to be injury to the pulp then you have to take in consideration the liners and base firstly discussing about calcium hydroxide calcium hydroxide can be used as liners and base also so firstly calcium hydroxide ki property kya calcium hydroxide is going to cover the area of the thin film of dentin jo bhi bachi hai ya you have minute pinpoint exposure microscopic exposure or any such exposure aisa koi bhi exposure hai that is visible and a pin point bleeding you can see that means now you are going to move on with direct pulp capping or you have thin film of dentin over the pulp then you are going to do with indirect pulp capping so calcium hydroxide you can apply over that area and calcium hydroxide is going to initiate the formation of reparative dentin again so in that area which was affected first now it will again increase the thickness of dentin in that area and the health of the pulp will be maintained so this is the property of calcium hydroxide this was just an information you guys need to keep in mind then even zinc oxide eugenol and calcium hydroxide can be used as liners in the amalgam restoration because they are going to provide enough uh, they could they are going to resist the condensation forces of the restorative material along with that the thermal 
टेम्परेचर चेंजेस विच आर गोइंग टू बी इनिशिएटेड ड्यू टू सिल्वर मालगम रिस्टोरेशन आर गोइंग टू बी इंसुलेटेड बाय दिस जिंक ऑक्साइड यूजिनॉल और कैल्शियम हाइड्रोक्साइड सीमेंट सो देर आर टू थिंग्स वी डिस्कस कि जिंक ऑक्साइड यूजिनॉल और कैल्शियम हाइड्रोक्साइड यू कैन यूज एज लाइनर्स इन अमालगम रिस्टोरेशन क्यों यूज करोगे आप बिकॉज यू वॉन्ट टू रेजिस्ट द कंडेंसेशन फोर्सेस ऑफ रिस्टोरेटिव मटीरियल उसके साथ साथ द थर्मल चेंजेस विच आर इनिशिएटेड आर ऑल्सो बी इंसुलेटेड सो दिस इज द रीजन वाई जिंक ऑक्साइड एंड कैल्शियम हाइड्रोक्साइड इज यूज नेक्स्ट कैल्शियम हाइड्रोक्साइड प्लस रेजिन मॉडिफाइड जी आई इज ऑल्सो यूज इन कंपोजिट रिस्टोरेशन यू नीड टू कवर द कैल्शियम हाइड्रोक्साइड इफ यू आर डूइंग ए कंपोजिट रिस्टोरेशन and you are very much close to the pulp so you are surely going to place calcium hydroxide for the formation of reparative dentin but when you the phosphoric acid of the composite restoration is going to act on this calcium hydroxide then it is going to dissolute the calcium hydroxide so there will be no use of you placing that medicament or liner over there to kya hoga ki you need to cover this calcium hydroxide with resin modified GI so that it does not dissolute the composite restorative material does not dissolute this liners or medicament which you have placed so it will be covered with RM GI and then composite restoration will be done so these were few basic considerations which are need to be taken in relation to pulp protection mainly you need to remember that why pulp protection is necessary what are the causes what are the materials can we use then why are these materials used what is the reason behind it they are used but you should know the reason why are they used and lastly pulp exposures ke bare mein i have told you that whenever there is microscopic or a pinpoint exposure of pulp then you are going to do direct pulp capping so uske liye calcium hydroxide ka to maine aapko bata hi diya it is going to have a property of initiating the formation of reparative dentin but along with that there is also one more material mta which can also be used as base or liner to initiate the formation of reparative dentin mta full form is mineral trioxide aggregate so this was all about pulp protection hope you guys have understood next we'll move on to secondary resistance and retention form thank you